Shepherd. Remember when you were a puppy? One puppy, two puppy on a puppy bed. The littlest one has fur that's I'm red. kind of new, so I'll stick <laughs> with you. I like new places, seeing lots of new faces. And before <laughs> this day's through, we'll make good friends like you. China Poblana. She even let me do some of the embroidery by myself. It's beautiful. Thanks. My mom says that everyone has something special that they're really good at. Your what? My something special. Oh, I wonder what my something special is. Oh, I know. Your something special is that you're really good with animals. <laughs> I never really thought about it before, but I guess you're right. Just look how great you are with Clifford. Oh, well, Clifford's easy. He's so sweet and cuddly. This is gonna be fantastic. Look, Mr. Solomon made the piñata in his art studio. It's so cool. He's a really great artist. Hey, I guess that's his something special. You're right. And lucky for us, he used his something special to help us with the party. So are you ready to hang decorations over by the dance floor? Let's do it! Hmm, I wonder what my something special is. Oh, it'd sure be great if I could use my something special to help get ready for the party, too. Huh, I bet Daffodil could help me figure it out. Hey, Daffodil! Hola, Clifford. Happy Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> Happy Cinco de Mayo to you, too! What are you doing? I'm helping with the party decorations. Hey! Maybe I could help you decorate. Thank you, Clifford, but I can do it. <laughs> Oops! Hey, I have a big idea! I'm all ears. What if I sit on the other end of the chain to hold it steady while you jump back and forth across the hedge? Well, I suppose it's worth a try. Hey, hey, that looks really good. Wow, she's really good at hopping. Hopping must be Daffodil something special. Hmm. What's mine? <laughs> so, how do you think it looks? Terrific! Great! Terrific is what I was after. Well, what are you going to do now? Well, uh, I think I'm going to take a nap right here next to this terrific paper chain. Hmm. Nina's mom said that everybody has a something special. Hmm. I guess I just got to keep looking for mine. I love this music. Isn't it great? It's called mariachi music. Your dad is such a good dancer. I think that's his something special. Mm-hmm, I think so too. What do you think? Perfecto. How about you, Clifford? Does it look good? Ruff, ruff. That settles it. Are you ready to go make some tacos? Sounds good, especially if we get to eat some of them too. 
<laughs> Don't worry, we'll eat plenty. Oh. oh, no. The decorations fell down. I better get Emily, Elizabeth, and Nina. <laughs> Hey, maybe I can fix it. Oh, wow, there's no way I can jump up there. Daffodil couldn't even jump that high. Oh, hi, Norval. Hi there, Rohito. Rohito? Yes, Rohito. That's Spanish for Little Red. See, I thought it could be your nickname for the Cinco de Mayo party. Rohito. <laughs> I like it. So what's going on here? Well, Emily, Elizabeth, and Nina just hung these decorations, but one of the strings fell, and now they're all drooping. Well, we'd better fix it. But how? Just watch, my little amigo. Oh, what a great idea, Norval. Watch this. The only problem is I can't tell if it's straight. Hmm, hey, I got a big idea. Why don't I help you with that? Hmm. How does it look? Uh, just a little bit higher. How about that? Perfect! You really are a great flyer, Norval. Hey, thanks, Little Red. I mean, Rohito. <laughs> Flying is what I do best. You might say it is my... Something special. Yeah, exactly. Hey, I like that. Flying is my something special. In fact, I feel like doing a little flying right now. Adios, Rohito! <laughs> Adios, Norvo Lito! Wow, flying really is normal something special. But what's mine? I can't fly. Mmm, <laughs> mmm. Something sure smells good. I wonder what it is. Are we all ready to make tacos? Ready. Step one, get your tortilla. Step two, add a little spicy shredded beef. Step three, lettuce, tomato, and cheese. And step four, eat. Mm. Mm. This is really yummy. Now we just need to make enough for everybody else. <laughs> oh, it all smells so good. Oh, it tastes even better, buddy. Jorge, what you doing? I'm helping. Really? How? Well, it's like this. They make the tacos here. The guests eat the tacos there. My job is to carry them from here to there. Oh, look who's here. Are you ready to carry some tacos? <laughs> All right, here you go, boy. Take them to mom. Wow, Jorge, you're great at that. Oh, thanks, Clifford. The only problem is that I can't turn my head when I'm balancing the platter, so I'm worried I'm gonna run into someone. Hey, I got a big idea. I can walk with you and keep an eye out. Oh, that's a great idea, Clifford. That would really help. Okay, a little towards me now. Mm -hmm. Now a little to the other side. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, that's good. Oh, oh, oh wait a second. Huh. Now you can go. Oh, this is much better, Clifford. Ah, here comes the food now. Well, I can't believe you carried this whole tray over here without spilling a thing. You have such amazing balance. <laughs> thank you, Jorge. And thank you, too, Clifford. Oh, did you hear that, Clifford? She thinks I have great balance. Hey, that must be Jorge something special. Well, everyone has a something special but me. There must be something I'm really good at, but what? Hey, here he is. What you guys doing? Now the question is, what are you doing? 
You know, the party has already started. We've been looking for you all over the place. Well, I don't think I'm going to the party. Oh, why not? It, it's so much fun. And everyone's been working really hard to get ready for it. Not everyone. What do you mean? Well, you flew up and fixed the decorations, and Daffodil used her special hopping thing to hang the paper chain, and Jorge, he carried all the food on his back because he has such great balance. See? You all used your something special to help with the party, but uh, I didn't do a thing, because, well, maybe I just don't have a something special. Of course you do, Clifford. After all, you helped me put up the paper chain. I couldn't have done it without you sitting on one end of it. Excuse me. You helped me fix the decorations, didn't you? I couldn't tell if it was straight or not without you. Oh, that's right, buddy. And you helped me carry the food. I couldn't tell which way I was heading without your help. But that wasn't a big deal. Oh, yes, it was. Don't you see, Clifford? You know exactly when and how to help everyone. That's a pretty big something special. <laughs> really? Really. And now, Rohito, how about you helping us have a good time at the party? Well, if helping is my something special, I guess I should. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> A great story. Today's story is Speckle and the Brand New Toy. Speckle had just gotten a brand new toy. He loved playing with it because even though it was very small, it was a whole lot of fun. Naturally, Speckle couldn't wait to share it with his friends. But when Ravi, Luna, Reba, and Darnell all showed up together, the friends wondered how they could all possibly play with such a teeny toy at the very same time. But then Speckle got an idea. He thought of a way that all of his friends could enjoy the bubble maker and its beautiful bubbles at the same time. Using Speckle's great idea, the group found that one tiny toy led to lots of big fun. The end. I love reading stories together. You know, Clifford, for such a small dog, you sure are a big reader. Shoon gets in the game. Wow, something smells wonderful. Daffodil. Daffodil? Daffodil, are you awake yet? No. Are you now? Are you awake now? How about now? Now are you awake? Clifford. <laughs> good, you're awake because something really important's happening. This better be good. <laughs> oh, it is. <laughs> Hi. Smell. Something! And? And it's really nice. That's not a big enough and. But Daffodil, it smells like flowers and, and grass and sunshine. Well, good morning there, Little Red, and what a good morning it is. Uh, hiya, Narvel. I smell something wonderful. Do you smell it too? Whoa! Oh, Clifford, oh, Clifford, oh, Clifford. That is the smell of the first day of spring, when the flowers bloom and the bees buzz and all the little birdies go tweet, tweet, tweet. 
Oh no, not the singing. Nothing makes me wanna sing like the springiness of spring. Huh, the first day of spring, oh boy. Good morning, Clifford. Good morning, Daffodil. <laughs> I guess you figured out it's the first day of spring. I know, it's really exciting. And do you know what the first day of spring means? It's the first day of the courtyard volleyball season! <laughs> Let's hurry and get dressed and go outside and play. Great shot, Nina. The game's tied six to six. Hi, Shun. Want to play volleyball with us? Uh, I guess so, but... I've never played before. We'll show you. It's really fun. Come on and join our team. Well, okay. How do you play? Well, each team has three tries to get the ball over the net. You can hit it, then someone else can hit it. Then the last person tries to get it over the net. Nice try, Shun. Seven to six. Ha! Oh, 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 oh! Out! Eight six. Don't worry, Shun. We hit it out all the time. Volleyball sure looks like fun. Hi, guys. Want to play? Sure. I happen to be available. I think I'll just take a little nap, since for some reason I woke up extra early. What should we play? Well, I wish we could play volleyball, but we don't have a net. So, we can't play volleyball. Hey, but we can play wall hit ball. Wall hit ball? What's that? What's that? Only the best springtime game ever. I never even heard of it. Okay, so I just made it up. But you got a wall, and you got a ball, and you put them together, and you see what happens. That is the idea. And that? Looks like wall hit ball to me. <laughs> oh, wow. I think this could be really fun. All right, now, hold on to your hats there, sports fans. The first ever game of wall hit ball is about to begin. Get it, June. Uh, got it, got it. Uh, or not. That's okay, Shun. You're doing great. Our point. Shun, it's your turn to serve. You get two tries to get the ball over the net. Just hold the ball in one hand and hit it with the other. Come on, Shun. Come on, on, just over the net. Come on. Come on. Come on. You almost got it. Aww. Try again, Shun. You get two tries. Uh, coming, Mom. Sorry, my mom's calling. I've uh, got to go eat dinner. Bye. Huh, that's funny. I didn't hear his mom calling him. And why would she be calling him for dinner? It isn't even time for lunch yet. Well, my stomach doesn't know that. How about we take a break for lunch and all meet back here afterwards? Sounds okay. good to me. Ugh, playing volleyball sure gave me a big appetite. You seem hungry too, Clifford. Ruff, ruff. I'll get it, Mom. Who is it? It's me, Shun. Oh, hi, Shun. I'm just finishing my lunch. Hi, Emily Elizabeth. I brought over my checkers. Want to play? Oh, sure, but uh, well, maybe later. I was going to go back out and play more volleyball. Are you going to play? Oh, I can't. I um have a lot of homework to do. You're gonna do your homework? But, but I thought you just wanted to play checkers. Oh, I'm uh, doing a report on checkers for my homework uh, for extra credit. Really? Oh, well, maybe you can come out when your homework's done. Maybe. Great. 
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is a beautiful day for the start of the outdoor wall hit ball season. It's Clifford's turn, and he is in great form this afternoon. First, he bounces the ball off the wall. It's picked up by Flo, who twirls around three times and zings it to Zoe, who hops two times, throws the ball up in the air and counts to five very fast. One, two, three, four, five. Ah! It's intercepted by none other than Clifford. Then I juggle it on my feet. Sports fans, this game is like nothing this announcer has ever seen. Let's keep playing. Uh. Wait, throw it to me, wait. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> I'd like to go back outside, but if I do, they'll ask me to play volleyball again. But it's so nice outside. Nice try, Evan! Hey, Shun, come on and help us. We're five points behind. Sorry, Evan, I can't. What happened? <laughs> I don't know, maybe I played checkers too long. My fingers are kind of sore. Well, do you want to watch us play? Maybe a little later. Nice try, Nina. I I'm gonna take five. You guys keep playing. Okay, Evan. Hi, Shun. Uh, hi. Fingers feeling better? Uh, I, I guess so. Uh, I really didn't hurt them playing checkers. Really? And wait, I'll bet your mom didn't really call you in for dinner at lunchtime. <laughs> no, you're right. I I'm sorry. Look, you don't want to play volleyball with us, and I think I know why. Because I'm no good at it. Well, none of us are great at it, but we have a lot of fun. But it's not the same. I barely know how to play. I'm terrible. You don't know what it's like because you're really good at sports. Basketball and skateboarding, maybe. But I can't play soccer at all. <laughs> and you should see me try and hit a baseball, but I still play. You do? Sure, because you know the thing about sports that's really important? Scoring a lot of points? No, having a lot of fun and being with your friends. <laughs> It was fun, kind of. So what do you say? Wanna come back and play with us? Well, okay. Great, let's go! Do you believe in miracles, sports fans? Indeed I do. There has never been a wall hit ball game like this before. They hop, they twirl, they count, they... <laughs> hey, wait a minute. What? How do you win wall hit ball? Oh, yeah, well, that, well, you know, that's easy. You know, you win when you're the first one to hit the wall with the ball after you've... Twirled around three times. Let's make it two times. You twirl two times and catch the ball. But if you drop the ball and you don't catch it before seven bounces, you lose your turn. No, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. You lose your place. No, 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 wait a minute, you don't... I, uh, what, what do you lose? Uh, guys? Guys, does it really matter who wins? I mean, maybe we should just play wall hit ball for fun. Oh, that is the stuff, Little Red. That is the stuff just for fun. Oh, yeah, let's go. Everybody ready? Ready! Hey, I hit it! You sure did. Great shot! That was fun! Ugh. Nice try, Evan. <laughs> Thanks, Shun. Tommy Yummies. Oh, I wonder who they belong to. 
Maybe I could just take one little bite. Hey, I had a whole basket of tummy yummies to share. Has anybody seen them? Sometimes telling the truth isn't easy, but Clifford and his friends know that it's always the right thing to do. Oh, actually, Clifford, I ate them. I'm sorry. When you tell the truth, it makes you and your friends feel better. Well, I was looking forward to sharing them with everyone, but I'm really glad you told me the truth. You know, me too, buddy. That's why Clifford's idea to grow on for today is be truthful. Next time I get tummy yummies, I'll make sure to share them with you. That would be great, Jorge. <laughs> <laughs>